You must be Mike Hammer. Right, and you're, uh... Where are you when you are? If you think it's tough now, pal, it's only gonna get harder. The guys Malin gambled with, besides Brett, I need their names. Larry, Moe, Curly. I need their last names. I'd like to. I want you to. was in danger. Everyone around me swore it was true, but somehow it didn't make any difference. Still, I knew it was an unnecessary risk, and I decided to take some serious action. Once again? No more cigarettes. Once again? No more cigarettes. Relax, Mr. Hammer. I want you to think of something that makes you feel very relaxed. Cigarette. Don't go away. Hypnotherapy. It's for you. Oh, thanks. Hello. Oh, hi, Velda. Yeah? What time? Okay, I'll be right there. What? See? working. I didn't mind the trip to Kennedy Airport to pick up Cozy Higgins. He left New York over a year ago with a tourist ticket to Monte Carlo and a pair of dice. Knowing Cozy and his dice, the odds were good he was flying home first class. Hi, my name is Mike Hammer. I believe you have a message for me? If I don't, I'll make one up. Cozy Higgins. He should be on flight 602. Steezy Higgins? Concourse B. You go through security. Thanks. A little overweight. Mike, over here. <gasps> Cozy. Oh man, I'm glad to see you. Sorry, I'm late. You look terrific. Is that a new suit? Of course, always. Listen, Mike, I haven't forgotten about that 300 yet. Hey, forget it. I promise you, get me uptown safe and sound, and I'll pay you. Plus five more. How's that? Save it for your mom. Come on. So what's going on? A guy tried to kill me, Mike. You're kidding. I mean it. 
It happened at the airport in Paris. The French have a way with goodbyes. No, I just saw him. He's here. He must have taken the Concorde. Why is he after you? I'll show you when we get uptown. Okay, look. If you see him, point him out. He can't get through security if he has a gun. Thanks, Mike. You don't know how much I appreciate that. Hey, forget it. I just want to see the look in Manny's eyes when you get to load of this suit. <laughs> out of my way! Move! Hey, Move right here. that's him. Okay, get over here. to a case of diamonds and half a ten grand bill. But he was robbed of something a lot more valuable. Yeah, Mike, it got through security because there's no metal in it, not even in the shell casing. It's plastic, a toy. Toys don't murder people. Mike, you don't buy this thing off the rack. It's high tech. What do I tell Cozy's mom? High tech killed her son? stones I impounded. What did Mr. Higgins tell you about them? He never had a chance to tell me anything. He, uh, gave no clue as to their intended destination? Well, actually, he was gonna make you a little pinky ring, something small and tasteful. Look, pal, don't take your frustrations out on me. I'm not the one he hired to protect them. No, you're not. Don't say it. I know sometimes I should keep my mouth shut. You got it. I said don't say it! Crisp, uncirculated, a perfect $10,000 bill. How in the world did Cozy ever come on one of these? Half of one of these. Chances are I was going to pick up the other half on this end. Question, what's worth 10 grand? Answer, delivering a sack of diamonds. Oh, nice work of you together. If you can survive it. So what do you think? You see, you don't make change with these. They're registered with Treasury. It, it's like a check, but without your signature. That means you can trace it. <laughs> As they say, me and Rockefeller are like that. Only, uh, I could use a little incentive. Okay. How's that? Uh, a little more incentive. I see. Thanks. Uh, uh, uh. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll write down the serial number. Just on the off chance that uh, you should make friends with the other half of this bill. Very wise, Hammer. You know, legal tender has tempted the best of us. And the worst of us. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna stop over at Maddie's and then go on to the office and come up with something. Please tell Maddie how deeply sorry I am about Cozy. I will. <laughs> Maddie Higgins was a church-going woman who lived a simple life. There was only one thing that really mattered to her, and now it was gone. You told her? They were gonna send a stranger. I just hate these moments. Yeah, I do too. For what it's worth, ballistics found the gun untraceable. Carbon fiber, tempered sleeve, no marking. Get this, Mike. At least 50 grand a copy. It don't make sense. Well, it does if you can afford to pay anything to get one past airport security. Mike. Mike, is that you? Oh, Maddie. <laughs> They killed my boy, Mike. Why? Why, my cozy? I don't know, Maddie. I wish I did. It was always worry. Gambling, living high and fast, types of party, enjoying. <laughs> oh, Maddie. It's all right. That tells me that you were with him. I'm glad a friend was there. 
Yes, I was with him, Manny, but I, it didn't do much good, did it? No, no, don't say that. It's not your fault. Don't you carry that weight you hear. I hear you, but I, I don't have much choice. I know. Uh, I'm going to take care of my boy now. I got Mr. Bartlett to come and look after the store. If you don't mind waiting a minute. Oh, sure. We mm -hmm. can talk later. I'd like that. I sure do. Come on, man. Higgins right. Market, my camera's speaking. Mike, I got lucky. How's he? How lucky? Jackpot. Try the name Anthony Maywin. Maywin, the gambler? Gambler. Huh, Mike. That's like calling the Pope a preacher. Maywin, that's against the sunrise. And it's three to two, it's dark all day. Did you get an address on him? Don't you ever read the papers? Maywin just bought the top floor of the new Chelsea Towers. You can't reach him there, you try London, you try Paris, you try Rome, you try San Moritz, you try uh, Monte okay, Carlo, Ozzie. you try... Ozzie! Thanks. Nice going. Nice going. Nice going, Greg. Nice going. I was glad to find Anthony Malin at home. London, Paris, Rome, and San Moritz would have been pretty rough on the shoe leather. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, I called from downstairs. Oh, you must be Mike Hammer. Right, and you're, uh... Ready when you are. Yes, Frida. Show him in. How much am I down? 32,000. Unless you'd like to double again. You are a demon. A witch. Now, will you just play straight? Ah, Mr. Hammer. Please come and join us. I'd like you to meet a witch. Linda Shelton, Mike Hammer. I leave my broom home, except for special occasions. Too bad. I've always wanted to ride one of those things. Are you a player? Only when I feel lucky. Well, then perhaps we can play a game later? Take my advice. Don't. She owns the dice. <laughs> now, what may I do for you? Well, I'd really like to play, but unfortunately, I'm a little short. I'm sorry, you will pardon us? Oh, certainly. Who gave you this? Cozy Higgins. Where is he? He's dead. He was murdered this morning at the airport. No. Yes. He died carrying a load of diamonds. The police have impounded them. Who killed him? Two goons. One's in the morgue. I thought you might know the other one. No. But if you find him, I'll give you the other half of this. Oh. You've got the same problem. Thanks anyway, but I've already got a client. Will you excuse me? Sure. Yes, Jeff. Tell Peter Brett that I'm selling all of my diamonds holding. And now... Listen, we're in business, not in love. Would you please tell Anthony no, I had to leave? Put him while you're ahead. It's more disappointing. Smart. I don't think your man's gonna like that. Oh, he's not my man. And my hairdresser won't wait. Yeah, my barber's the same way. What was her rush? Was it something I said? Or something she heard? Where's Linda? She went to do some more hot rolling at the beauty parlor. I'll miss her company, but it might save me some money. I'll be collecting my diamonds at five o'clock. Good, I'll be free then. I thought you rejected me as a client. But not as a suspect. Then come along, by all means. I do hope to earn your trust. Cozy had it. I have a feeling it might cost me more dearly. That's impossible, Mr. Malin. You forget. Because he's dead. More Mike Hammer in a moment, here on A&E. Here on A&E.
Cozy Higgins had left behind some interesting associates. Anthony Malin, who gambled for everything he owned, and Peter Brett, who didn't have to gamble. He already owned everything. Mr. Brett never sees anyone. Please don't make me throw you out. I won't. I'm sure that Mr. Brett will be glad to see me regarding Anthony Malin and diamonds. Oh, too bad. I was going to do the throwing personally. Oh. Don't stop on account of me. I love watching other people sweat. Lewis. Move it, buddy. I wouldn't do that if I were you, and I'm not your buddy. Who the hell are you? My camera. Private instigator. Investigator, meathead. Lewis! Mr. Hammer. You have exactly one minute. And I caution you. Lewis is not my only security. Lucky for you. I understand that uh, Anthony Malin was a friend of yours. <laughs> Anthony Malin has no friends. He's a gambler. He had one, Cozy Higgins. He died this morning. Sorry to hear that. Cozy had a, a lot of flash. He was a terrible poker player. But he was good with the dice. Yeah, not good enough. Somebody rolled snake eyes on him at the airport. Associations with Tony Madlin always carry their risks, I know. You had a diamond deal with Malin, right? Mr. Hammer, your minute is up. Tell me something. You said Anthony Malin was rich. Why does he need cash? I'm rich. Anthony Malin's a gambler. Gamblers always need cash. Lewis, I'll show you to your car. Thanks anyway. I can find my own way out. Terribly sorry. Ah. Clumsy of me. Uh. Baring had called in Tony Malin. I wanted to be there, too. Yeah, I need the guy you stiffed at the airport. Rene Lacombe. Get this, Mike. He's a P.I. from Monte Carlo. Maybe dirty. He's dirty, all right. What about the guy that got away? Excuse me. Emma, I don't see how this concerns you. Come on, Larry. You wouldn't deprive me of seeing the twinkle in those little eyes when they look at diamonds. I have no objection. Yeah, well, I do. The diamonds were payment for a gambling debt. Verified on delivery by my expert in Paris. You have the papers. Insurance documentation, 250 cut stones. Blue and white quality. And you say they're worth $3 million. Or less. Come on, you got the kid. Nobody will trust Cozy with three mil. I did. After all, that's the greatest wager of all people. Gambling on your own judgment. I mean, will you get off my desk, please? Uh, that's my... Hey! Seal. Fakes! Fakes! They were switched. Yeah, but not by Cozy Higgins. He died protecting them. That's why he was killed. They could only have switched them after he died. They weren't. I was there, remember? This way, you get $3 million in insurance and $3 million in jewels, right? Nice profit for 15 minutes' work. Prove it. Don't worry, I plan to. When it came to useful information, Moochie Barnes was always a lucky roll. Six fours. Seven fours. Eight fours. I call. Unless you have eight dice, you're short a few fours. <laughs> you buy. Another round, please. On him. You know something I can't figure out, Mooch? Mm -hmm. This guy looked me right in the eye, and he actually challenged me to come after him. Michael, that's Malin's game. I once saw him holding a busted flush and dare an Arab sheik to buy the pot. Oh, yeah? The sheik folded. So, the only thing that proves is he's good at bluffing. He's better than you are. But what else? Any soft spots like women? Linda Shelton seems to be the latest. Born in Iowa, went to Stevens College, Columbia post-grad. She hit the jet set columns a year ago. Sam Lawrence. It's a 
big jump by Iowa to San Moritz. Mm -hmm. That's where she met Peter Brett. There was talk of an engagement, but Brett racked up his racing car a few months ago. And Linda connected with Anthony Malin. Now, this Brett, Michael, he could buy Malin with his pocket change. Is Brett Gamble? Compulsively. But he never, ever loses. He hasn't played dice with you yet. <laughs> hey, I'll see you later. Ciao, Michael. I needed to find out how Cozy got mixed up with these high rollers in the first place. I was hoping that Maddie wouldn't mind a late visitor. Sorry to drop by so late. This seems to be developing into a habit. Perhaps a good one. Perhaps. Oh, you know Miss Shelton. Not well. We can improve on that. I'm hosting a charity affair tomorrow. I'd like you to come. You'll find it interesting. Really? Why? The guests, including Anthony Malin, Peter Brett. I'll be there. Mrs. Higgins. If there's anything I can do, you will call me. Oh, now, don't you worry about me. I'm going to be just fine. Good night. Good night. I'll be expecting you, Mr. Hanson. I'll see you tomorrow, Michelle. What was she doing here? Bet you're failing, Mike. You don't trust anybody. She was a good friend to Cozy. Who told you that? Cozy did it in his letters. And don't forget, my son could read people. Almost as well as you can? <laughs> Maddie, did you save Cozy's letters? Did your mother keep yours? I didn't write that often. <laughs> Sons never do. Not enough. But they're my treasures. Like these trophies. Cards. Dice. He could have made the Olympics if he had just been patient. Yeah. I want them back when you're finished with them. Of course. You're determined to finish it. You don't have to, not for me. For both of us, Maddie. Keep safe. Thanks, Maddie. I will. took that as a sign. Either I needed some body work, or I was getting too close to something. Be careful. I don't want any new scratches on it when I come back. There's a lot of words you could use to describe Linda Shelton's joint, and joint wasn't one of them. Number four, you look ready for some action. Sweetheart, I was born ready. What's all this? Chips for roulette, poker and blackjack, bills for Baccarat. Uh-huh. Well, uh, give me $50 worth of chips. Is that it? Listen, you go broke. I'll give you a really good hand to hold. Darling, this way we'll be holding hands at any minute. Excuse me. <laughs> This crowd was definitely BYOR. Bring your own Rolls Royce. Hammond. 
What are you doing here? Oh, I just thought I'd try my luck. What's your excuse? This is a charity affair. Uh, I have a lot of constituents here, important constituents, and I don't want any trouble. Even if one of your constituents turns out to be a murderer? Listen, by the way, if you decide to play, be careful. I hear the games are fixed. Let me have a dollar's worth of chips. Well, I'll bet you're someone rich and famous. You're right, but don't tell anybody I'm here, okay? Well, who are you? Uh, Mike, I was afraid you weren't coming. Are you kidding? I wouldn't miss it for the world. It's just getting interesting. Really? Why the funny money? Oh, they're playing for real. They'll turn that in later for cash. Anthony over there enjoys the game. Peter likes the scent of blood. <laughs> Tell me something. How does it feel to be a lady who turns down a conglomerate like Peter with a factory in every port? If she's a lady, it's easy. You see, Peter is a conglomerate with women as well. Oh, really? No, no thanks. Uh, have you got any cheeseburgers? Mr. Hammer. Well, Mike, please join us. It's all friends. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Hammer. It's a pleasure. Why don't you take my seat? Luck is bound to change. Oh, no thanks. It's not really my game. What is your game, Hammer? I like to look for killers. May I help you? Can I clear your glass? As it turned out, I got a little lucky. I picked up some lunch money at the table. This was probably the first time that Brett and Malin were both in debt to somebody. Me. They owed me answers. Oh boy, you're gonna need a ride home. I'd nailed the guy with the plastic gun. Now I had to find the toy maker who gave it to him. Excuse me. I've arranged for all of you to leave before the press arrives. And Linda, could you tell me where I could cash these in? Break the bank, Larry? Stay out of this, Hammer. I can't. I'll tell you why. Somebody with a lot of money has got a payment to make. For Cozy Higgins. More Mike Hammer in a moment, here on A&E. At last, a positive clean from Vaseline Intensive Care. A new moisturizing body wash. My old soap cleans, but it's... Cozy Higgins had gambled for stakes that were a little too high. And he lost big. But I wasn't sad. 
If I knew Cozy, he was shooting sevens and elevens at the big crap game in the sky. Music, isn't it awful? The television said you found the man who murdered Cozy. Yes, I did. Then promise me you'll take that fine lady off someplace and forget about all this pain. When I can. Don't tell me when I can. You're looking at maple, solid maple, and there's nobody there. Cozy's gone. All this is just flowers and sadness. You've done what you can for me. Now have done with it. There's still more to do, Maddie. <laughs> You're a very smart boy. I thank the Lord he looks after the innocent and small children. I hope I can find a slot for me in there somewhere. I'll pray that you do. When are you guys going to be through with this mess? Tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, relax. Mr. Oh. Hammer, I'm Mr. Brett's secretary. Remember me? How could I forget? I've been in trouble ever since I let you see him. I'm sorry, I've been in trouble long before that. Come on into my office, let's go. I can't. Do you really know anything about this diamond deal? I'd like to know more. Mr. Brett wants to speak hey, to you. Wait a minute, hey. pal. This lady's already got a date. If you think it's tough now, pal, it's only going to get harder. Mr. Hammer, I'm scared. Mr. Brett was really angry. And that could be very dangerous for you. For you too, sweetheart. Where do you come from? Poughkeepsie. Well, I suggest you go back to Poughkeepsie. Take this. Thanks. I paid a visit to Peter Brett and found him playing chess with himself on his computer. Your messenger boy, Lewis, could use a bonus. About three cans of turpentine. You don't make things simple, do you, Hammer? I haven't had your experience at it. You suspect that I might have had Cozy killed, don't you? You could afford it, especially if it pointed the finger at Tony Malin. Now, let me make things simple for you, Hammer. I had nothing to do with Cozy's death. My word is my bond, and you can check that out internationally. I have to be in Switzerland tomorrow. I'm a busy man. This is not a game. Oh, yeah? You forget I've seen you play with Tony Malin. Over money, over the girl, that's no game either. I like to win. As for the girl, Linda's a treasury agent. Say what? She didn't tell you. Well, then again, she's a game player, too. She's developed very expensive tastes for someone on a government salary. Even with an expense account, it's a... Difficult transition from dining at Maxime's to going home to a tuna casserole. Nothing wrong with that. I eat tuna casserole two, three times a week. You know, you shouldn't mess with those computers. They make you sterile.
guys? Not often. It is my job, Mike. I work for the deputy director. Now, if Peter bought that information, it's because he was my original assignment. Oh, yeah? Want a drink? No. What kind of assignment? Manipulating commodities. Silver, grain, you name it. Diamonds? After Peter's accident, Anthony Malin arrived on the scene. I shifted with the case. You know, a lot of people think you've got greedy fingers. Greedy enough to take those diamonds that Cozy was carrying. I resent that. Cozy, Cozy was an innocent, caught between Peter and Anthony. I am as sorry about him as you are. You have to believe that. Do I? Yes. I'd like to. I want you to. Well, I, I guess we'll just have to work together. What kind of game was Tony Malin really playing? We went to find out. Wait a minute. What? There should be somebody here. Some security. Door's locked. There's a button on the desk. like Tony Malin was still hanging around after the game. Nice card. Too bad he had to fold. More Mike Hammer in a moment, here on A&E. Red Lobster introduces Seafood Pounders. Tony Malin was dead, and everything said it was suicide. Everything except my gut instinct. Those treasury people are all over the place. The lady told you the truth. She's got friends in high places. Well, she's got two choosies. She was with me last night. Oh, Baron, you'll be delighted. You got an alibi. Coroner's at the time of death yet? Seven, maybe eight. Well, I can tell you this. Somebody else is going to need an alibi. Hey, look at this. This guy wasn't hurting for cash. Any diamonds? Just money. The diamonds weren't in the safe. But then I didn't expect them to be. Okay, let's measure this. There's one over. Hammer, I need to talk to you. What is it? The guys Malin gambled with, besides Brett, I need their names. Sure. Larry, Moe, Curly. I need their last names. Mm. Huh. So we Brock don't need no daylight to tell us a phony. <laughs> instinct. Professional instinct. Mm. Question. Mm. What is the most valuable diamond outside of the Smithsonian? Answer. Dodger Stadium. Biggest attendance in the history of baseball two years running. Come on, Ozzy. I knew that rock was a phony. Well, <clears throat> if the lady's not so special, it could be worth mounting. What do you mean? Very good quality. Requires a fine carbon technology to turn out copies cheaply. Who would do that? Well, uh, a Veracord. Oh, 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 how about uh, electric dynamics, hmm? No, I've used her stuff. This is better. Wait a minute. 
Pat said something about carbon that was used in making those plastic guns. Oh, yeah, that's carbon fiber, strong as steel, light as cotton candy. It's a similar technology, though. There can't be more than uh, six companies in the whole world that turn this stuff out. Names in half an hour. Oh, uh, a little oil for lamps. You guys are killing me. <clears throat> what is this, payday? Semi-retired. I'll take the stone. I can make you a great mounting. <laughs> lady would never know the difference. Thanks, Philly, but this lady would. Drink your milk. arrived by messenger last night. It's personal. I didn't open it. Your self-control amazes me. I didn't say I wouldn't watch you open it. <laughs> well, hello. First time I like getting a bill in the mail. Look at this. In appreciation to a man who finishes his work, you must give me a chance to win it back from you. Anthony. Malin? Who else? That is not the note of a man who wanted to commit suicide. I won't ask you to explain until you talk to the uh, lady in there. Huh? Yeah. Hi. I came by as soon as I finished my report. Oh, yeah? You set me up. Just like you set up Malin. But Malin nailed you with one down card, the queen of I diamonds. I did not. Then who did? But every time you... Mike, Mike. Sorry for the delay, but I got two firms, both European. Technodyne and Laser Quantique. They're the only ones that can have the technology to handle a gun like that. Of course, there are other firms. Both those companies belong to Brett. Now, do you still think I set you up? All right, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Come on, let's go. Brett? Peter Brett? Yeah, a man with $300 million and he hates to lose, but this time he's going to. Mike is there. Hold on. Classified information. That's a breach of security. All right. I want to know who was the guy that set up the hit on Cozy Higgins. Wrong gender, Mike. Lewis, in the chopper. Lewis! Now! Like I said, I was truly sorry about that. And I do regret this. Three million dollars pays for a lot of regret. Of course, it had to be you. Only a treasury agent could intercept a sealed shipment and switch the diamonds. Smart, but a little late. You are the queen of diamonds. Sorry, Peter.
whistled. She'll be down in a minute. Michael, I can't take that. That is not my money. Now listen, Maddie, it belonged to Cozy. It's legitimate and now it's yours. Well, I don't know what to do with all that much. Oh, I'm sure you'll think of something. You go on now. Have some fun. You too. And don't spend it all in one place. Uh, shoot. I don't know any place that could make change. <laughs> <laughs> You take care of yourself now, Michael. You too. You need to be tough and strong to survive in the city. You meet a lot of people who think they're tough, but you haven't seen real strength until you've known someone like Maddie Higgins. He was a smash hit at the tender age of three. Meet the little man who was larger than life, Sammy Davis Jr. on Biography. Tonight at 8 Eastern, 9 Pacific. Now, an exotic island getaway becomes the final resting place for a thief on Remington Steel. Next on a and &E.